Hi everyone, welcome to Just For Fun. Um, 2020, sorry about not putting anything up lately. Unfortunately, I have a, another job I have to do, so I'm working and sometimes I cannot get my um, time to do these jobs. Anyway, do you remember this uh, steam kettle um, boiler I was making out of this uh, copper kettle? and it didn't work in the last one. So what I've done is I've cleaned up everything here and I've, and I've bought some uh, solder, which is um, plumber solder. And I thought I'll solder that there and see what happens from there. Now, Grandad the old man said, you know, it's a bit dangerous while I'm doing one thing or other. So I thought I'll borrow this thing off me, I'll, the other steam engine um, boiler and uh, what I'll do is I'll put this on here, put this on here and see how it goes. I'll put this nut here which fits it nicely in theory and we'll see how it goes from there. So I'm going to now drill a hole there, put this on there, put this one back on this side. I think I'll, stick, I'll leave this on here. It's quite high and we'll go from there and I'll solder this and get back to you. So I've soldered this here. I'm not too happy with my soldering. Uh, I've not done this type of soldering before. So this is there, but I'm gonna put a nut on here now and see how that goes. I've got my little torch here. Okay guys, I've soldered that piece there and I'll redone this piece a little bit more. So now I've got to solder it onto here. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I'm not even sure if this project's going to work by the way. But we shall see. We'll have a go. I don't know how to hold this down like this somehow. Hello again. So this is a dangerous uh, project as I've mentioned before. Do not try this at home. Uh, I'm just experimenting like I said. So what I've got is the copper kettle, of um, old one, and I tried to make it into a uh, steam boiler, but it didn't work last time. Now, what I've done, uh, because Grandad old man said it's dangerous, I put this on here, which is from the other steam, a proper steam boiler, put the nut on there, and then put this on there, so for safety. Now if that doesn't uh, protect it, then, I've also got, I've also got something else, isn't it? Okay, I found it. I've also got this here, which I've left a hole on the side here, just for protection's sake, just in case um, it, that, that doesn't go, this is, should go. Now, I tried to, like I said, I tried to uh, solder this and this and this. It wasn't getting hot enough, so I could not do this. So I asked my brother to do it for me, but he put silver solder all around and he also silver soldered these things again. So, which is great. Uh, I'm not good at soldering, as you can understand. So I'm going to fill the kettle up, put it on the boiler. I'm not going to boil it, I'm not going to run it for long. I'm going to get this, this engine, see just if it works as a steam boiler. And that's the goal. Okay guys, so I used two bottles of this water and a little bit in the kettle, right? Here's the kettle. And I used the funnel to put it through there. So this is the, I'm gonna put it onto a gas now and uh, we're gonna experiment now, so see what happens. Okay, I'm going to put my safety valve as well into there. So, into. I'm not sure if this will work guys. Um, okay, let's just turn it around a bit. I'm not sure if this will work, but we are going to have a look now. I don't think this, this is long enough. Okay guys, so what I've done is I've put it on. And I, I've got some tiles, old tiles, so I'll put that on because this, this is not long enough. I hope this stays stationary and this works fine. We'll see in a minute anyway. So I'm not going to leave the video on while the water is getting hot. Hi, 
steam engine working on a kettle okay guys so I'm showing you this video this video is off my phone and what happened with my camera something went wrong it didn't record so I did record it on my phone so just give you a quick quick uh, uh, show there okay, it's looking fine I've turned the gas down so that it's not gonna blow but it's been going for like a good what, three minutes at least three minutes now I'm happy with that. We're losing a little bit of steam from the nozzle, but I'm happy with that because it's a kind of safety precaution. Anyway. Alright guys, so I had to set this up again because my, like I said, my camera didn't work. So here we are. This time I've extended this lead, uh, sorry, this pipe tube, which I've got and we're going to see it go again, hopefully, and this time we shall video it on the camcorder. And this is the old lead. So this is my last lead that I've got. Let's hope this works nicely. There you go, guys. It's working now. I'm losing a lot of steam, as you can see, just coming out of there like crazy. But it is working with the kettle. So this is a, a boiler made from a copper kettle and we are losing a lot of steam from there but we are getting something going right here so it's good. It took a little longer to make it go with this longer tube but finally we got there. Do not try this at home, I don't recommend it, just in case it can be dangerous, but it blows as they say, once it gets to full steam, then it goes, I'm going to turn the gas down a bit, once it goes, it goes. I call this experiment success. I've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, thumbs up.